Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you uh, multiple um, web parts where you can uh, present pictures which will uh, show as a carousel. So let's start with the first one, the image gallery. So I'm now in a communication site, but it exists also on the team site. Let's edit the page and let's look for Click the plus and look for image and we have image gallery. In the image gallery we can choose from selected uh, images or from a dynamic. You see here actually this is the carousel layout. Uh, let's choose dynamically and we will choose, I have a document library which has images. You see already it's showing the images. Um, we can choose if to include subfolders to to put how many um, number of uh, images, and what we can do is to set if automatically the cycling will cycle will go and how many sec seconds between an image. So let's keep it like that. Uh, let's close this and let's publish it. Let's see what we get. So actually you see we have one image, this is another image, this is another one and another one. So um, I think it doesn't present all types of um, pictures. Um, so uh, you need to check that. So this is the image gallery and it's uh, quite cool, especially for communication site. Okay, next one is actually we can uh, edit the page and we will scroll down and just add it below and what we will do is look for the high highlighted uh, content. Highlighted content uh, by default it looks like that but we can click the edit button and what we can do here is to choose the source if it's this side or document library, let's keep it this side. And here we can choose, for instance, let's show only images. So you see now it's showing all of the images. Uh, you can add some filters. Uh, and here we have the image gallery, uh, sorry, the carousel. And you can choose um, how many items will show. Here you don't have the option to uh, automatically uh, that they'll uh, move automatically but uh, yeah it still uh, shows in a nice way let's publish it and let's see what we see here so uh, with the arrows we can move and it's showing all of the images that are images on the site and we could have filtered by other criteria the next one is actually the news web part. So actually if we um, edit the web part, we can add a news web part. Uh, actually we have one, so we can actually just edit it. Uh, and if we scroll here, you'll see we have a carousel. We can choose um, if automatically the cycle, uh, the news, and how many seconds. Uh, let's just publish it. Currently, we don't have any articles, uh, so we can add them now. So I'll just click here to create a news. Let's take uh, one of these templates. Let's call this uh, the news, the best news one. And what we can do is to go to page details. We need to post it. Just a second. And we will also um, go to the page details. And here actually we can, let's, we need to edit and go to the page details. Here we can actually uh, add a thumbnail. So. Let's add this image and there's a description here as well. 
let's just do this and update. Let's create another um, news we, so we can go to the new and click. Uh, we can even add a news link. And here we can, for instance, uh, take a, a link of, let's say, CNN. Yep. And let's add it. Where are we? Just a second. Here we are. So automatically it will give some text. We could replace the picture with uh, any picture we want. So we choose this one and we post. So let's see actually what we have here. Um, this is a news, you see the, the news web part, and let's just refresh. So this is one. Let's add a news post, just take this one, and just give it a name, uh, happy days and uh, edit here and we have a thumbnail uh, we can change this let's choose an image here we go nice let's post it and let's go to the news web part Okay, you see actually that we have one, we have another, we have a third, and also here if we edit the page, we can decide if we want it to, to move. So let's uh, click on the pencil. And uh, let me see. So it automatically uh, moves as you see. And so this is the third option of using news links and news posts. Uh, by the way, if we click on it, it takes us to the news. Last option, which is not exactly, it's like a workaround. Actually, let's just create a new page. And what we will do, we will add a hero web part. So let's look for hero. And here by default, you see, I can add four links. Um, but what we can do is actually, what we can do is to take the section and make it to three sections. And now, the whole, all of the, you see, it becomes like a slideshow or carousel. Uh, what we will do is actually just post it we need to give a page a name. We can actually here uh, post it. We don't see anything, so let's just uh, edit the page again. And we will actually add the images. So I'm clicking here. I will choose a link, for instance, so we can uh, take the CNN link. And actually, here we have one. And uh, I'll just edit this just to, to choose a background. Let's choose, uh, we can choose black color or we can choose automatic image or image that we upload. So let's change it and choose this one. So if we're using the same images, but you see that the idea. So if I just move to the other one and add a link, so let's link it to this page and let's just change the image here. And you see, because this uh, section is split very, uh, 
is very narrow, then it presents all of the hero uh, information in in like a carousel. So I hope you learned something. We talked about f four web parts: image gallery, highlighted content, hero, and news web part. Try it out and have a good day.